very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my wall. I'm going to be measuring from corner right there to uh, about where I want it to stop. And this location right here isn't bad because uh, it's, yeah, right here is not bad about where it stops here. And also I know that there is a stud there. And so that is also good news. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the measurement from there to there. I'm also going to take a measurement from floor to wherever I'm going to go. And I, obviously I want to not go beyond the uh, vent there. So I'm going to probably stop about two or three inches underneath there. I'm also going to take a measurement of my largest DVD box. So whatever is the largest box standing up, that's going to be the measurement that I'm going to keep um, the distance of all of my um, uh, shelves okay and looking at this they're all pretty much the same they're all pretty much the same I'm not like seeing a lot of variation um, this box right here might be the largest um, but I'm not seeing a lot of variation in this so basically um, something along these lines what I'll do is I'll take the measurement of this add maybe half inch and then that should be more than enough for, to compensate for all of the other uh, DVDs and stuff like that. And I don't have to worry about some of them being too large or something along those lines. And I'm maximizing my space. So what I've done is pretty much exactly like I was talking about. I've got my piece down here that is the base. And under the base, you can't see it, but I put a 1x4 down there as a toe kick. Okay not a big deal and it'll make sense when I raise it you'll see it on the outsides I've got um, my six foot six okay um, and on the insides I have my six foot six subtract um, inch and a half okay and then that way when I throw the uh, top piece on um, everything will fit because of the way that I'm nailing it what I've done to make things go quickly is I've cut a couple of pieces of wood at eight inches so I can set them here and here from there all I got to do is grab a um, piece of wood and just whatever side looks best is the side I'm going to put up front but I can set this pretty much like that put a bead of glue on it bring this in nail it through the rear, remove this. That way I know all of these are equally spaced and I don't have to bring out a tape measure. And then by the time we get to the top, we might deal with a, a small uh, difference, um, but uh, it, it's okay, I really don't care, <laughs> okay? Um, so let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here. And I'm not using a whole hell of a lot because I don't want it to drip all over my carpet. Okay, But making sure that this is flat, making sure that this is all lined up, I can pop three nails through the rear. Okay, That looks good. That looks good. And that looks good. This piece can be removed. This wedged in there real well. There was a little bit of glue on it. That's all right. But from here... I can do the same thing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not worried about that side down over here because I can do all those sides at the same time as well. Okay. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Especially considering I've been having some health problems lately. The sooner I can get all this done, the better. But as soon as I'm done with this side, I can actually raise this up and put it up against the wall because I'll have room at that point to work on everything else and not worry about uh, having room. See, this side over here is going to be going up against the wall real close. I won't be able to put my gut in there. So. And a lot of times when you're building stuff, you got to kind of build it in your head before you actually build it. Um, so that way any potential problems, you know, you've already encountered them before you actually built the damn thing. 
a lot of times when I build something, I've already built it three or four times in my head before I even get to the job site. And then, so when I start working on it, people are like, damn, man, you're fast, dude. It's like, um, it's just like, man, you, you just, it's like, you know exactly what you're doing. It's because it's, well, it's like, because I built it already, you know, <laughs> I built it. I've already been here building this in my head before I even showed up, you know, good. Good when it comes to the top here. Now, the top is hooked up where the outside you don't you don't get to see the end grain of the top here. So it basically is like that on both sides. Um, This has been spaced already, so I don't have to worry about this. Let me try to get some glue to drip down there. As soon as it gets pretty close, right there. Raise this up. Okay. As far as these go, outside. Shit. Outside of this gets glue. Alright. That's that. And then now I'm gonna grab a shelf here and use it as my spacer um, for this piece. Drip some glue down it. Okay, push it in. There we go. All right. So now. This is good enough that I can stand it up, um, but I got to cut more shelves. Uh, right now I've only got four of these. And what I'm using, I um, forgot to tell you, I'm just using Doug Fur, one by six Doug Fur. Let me go cut some more of these shelves. And as soon as I cut some more of these shelves, I'm going to drill a hole on the bottom part right there so I can run all my wires up. But um, yeah, let me go cut some more of these uh, shelves. So I've got this standing up. It's slightly uh, at an angle. In other words, it's not square. I'm not worried about that. I'm, I can square that up when I get ready to actually attach to a wall. Um, I am going to try to square it a little bit just by pushing it this way. Um, but now, doing the same thing that I was doing before, using my uh, spacers, I'm going to uh, get in here and start installing um, all of these other shelves on this side, and I'm going to do the middle last. A lot of times on these uh, shelves, there's a good side and a bad side. And I shouldn't say on these shelves, I should say on these strips of wood because they don't really give a fuck about how nice and smooth they are um, at the lumber yard.
So far, so good. Um, I have a bunch more shelves to install. So I'm going to keep working on that. And then as soon as I'm done with these shelves, um, turn the camera back on. Ultimately, I'm happy with the way that it looks. You know, looking at it, I don't even think I'm going to paint it. I, I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I'm going to leave it just as it is because it's not that bad. It's close enough to the color of the carpet that I think it's okay. And across the bottom of it where the toe kick is, um, I can put a piece of baseboard there. And then so everything will look complete later on down the line. If it is something that I want to keep inside here, like if we sell the house, I can just paint that. You know, I mean, that's not a big deal. So I can just come in here with a spray gun and then just paint it in like 15 minutes and uh, call it good. And then it's just one more thing that you can add to the, you know, value of the house or whatever. But you'll see that there's a big shelf on the bottom where all those wires are coming out. That's where I'm going to keep all of my um, AV equipment and everything. And then uh, my projector goes up on the top toward the right near the middle of the room. But uh, after I get all of this screwed in, and I have all my DVDs and everything inside there, and I have my projector up, and everything's ready and set up, I'll turn the camera on. And, and granted, you know, did, I didn't do a step-by-step, -step because I'm, I, don't, I think that's overkill. I don't think it's really required. Because the way that I did it should be pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy, right? So, like I said, let me attach this to the wall, put all my DVDs in, get everything set up, then uh, turn the camera back on. Okay, so here's the finished result. I decided not to do any painting. I just left it. But you know what's interesting is when I started organizing all of those damn DVDs, I realized that a whole bunch of them are missing. And then it starts making me wonder, well, where in the hell do they go? Who stole them? You know, who, or who did I loan them to? But like, there's a bunch of DVDs missing. And it kind of bothers me because I know I have them. Um, but anyways, that's that. Um, I got some more autographs that I have to hang up. I got most of my autographs back up and everything inside here. But I got a few down here still I have to do. And I've got some in the other room. And I've got some over there. Of course, those are porn stars and stuff. But that's it, guys. That's it. Room's almost complete. Room's almost done. So, anyway, that is that. I used to have uh, some posters over there um, that were movie posters, like from the original Star Wars and stuff, but I gave those to my nephew. But that's that. It's sturdy as hell. This thing ain't going anywhere. But, anyway, guys, until next time, talk to you later.